This is how I play with Shakespeare, and for this you'll need a bit of space, ideally some height, uh, to wear loose, comfortable clothing, and ideally to be barefoot too. Now you'll also need a stick of some kind. Now you could use a broomstick, or you could use an umbrella, or you could use a walking stick. And I tend to use a uh, piece of bamboo, about four foot long, and the idea is that you start in a neutral position, so your feet underneath your hips, and you can uh, test to make sure that they're hip width apart by using your foot like that. And then balance the stick on the end of your middle finger, any finger, it doesn't matter which, and it can be right-handed or, or left-handed. Keep your gaze at the top of the stick, and then take the stick for a walk and as you walk around with your stick make sure that there's no tension creeping into your shoulders into your jaw use your other spare arm as a counterweight and when the stick falls as fall it must catch it and hold a fixed point a point of stillness then reset and carry on walking. Now, what has this got to do with Shakespeare, I hear you ask? Well, in order to free up a Shakespeare speech that you've been practicing, start in neutral, walk the stick, and when you're ready, bring in some Shakespeare. I I've been studying how I may compare this prison where I live into the world. And for because the world is populous and here is not a creature but myself, I cannot do it. Yet, I'll hammer it out. And that's how I play with Shakespeare. Now for the next exercise, when the stick falls into the horizontal, well, for that, you'll need a partner.